Hey, what is up you guys? Luke Wayne here. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and as always remember, high hopes and low expectations. That is something you're going to have to remember for today's video because today's video, and no, it's, it's not a reach. It's not a big reach, but it is going to be some speculation. Long story short, the release, not the release date, but the release window, the month that the game Gotham Knights will be released has kind of been leaked by this website. So this online retailer, The Game Collection, uh, has posted, you know, the Gotham Knights uh, placeholder, like a lot of other websites like I've covered on this channel in the past. It's basically like on Amazon, you know, you just post a description of the product with a picture of the product and, you you know, the, the rough price estimate. And then typically for the release date, you'll put to be announced or you'll put a placeholder date, which is almost always December 31st, 2021, because this game is going to come out in 2021. That, was, that has been reinforced. They have confirmed. They have not changed those plans. The game is still releasing in this year but we don't know when so typically uh, online retailers will just put release date uh, December 31st 2021 as a placeholder just because we know it's going to be out by then and then they'll actually change it to the official release date when that release date is announced but the game collection has just been very interesting here and this isn't even an obscure reach multiple other respectable and professional articles have covered this they the game collection have posted the release date as July 31st, 2021. Why is this significant? Well, if it was a placeholder date for the year 2021, they just would have put December 2021, which is, I believe, and I cannot, I, I don't, I can't verify this, but I believe that's what they had it at. I mean, I'm pretty sure they had it as December 31st, 2021, but they just recently changed it. But this is significant, not only because, well, that means it's going to release in mid this year, but also, if you remember back, one of the last videos I did was that little tease they did, and on Christmas Day, they posted a Merry Christmas, blah, 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 message, and a little bit of art from the team there, and on the art, there was a poster advertising the Flying Graysons, and in the Flying Graysons, they put a, a couple of dates from July on the poster, and I made a video speculating how that could be the release date for the game, and now that looks even more likely, considering that if, if that is a release date, if that is the official window, if that is the official release window for July, that would line up with the dates they put on the poster, meaning that this game is, if I had to bet, this game is more likely to release in July than any other month of the year. I am almost confident, I'd say, that this game will release in July. That might surprise some of you, because that seems like pretty soon, considering we haven't had any information almost at all. Not any information, obviously, we have articles and interviews, but no new gameplay, no new trailer, no new, like, official balls to the wall marketing campaign that they usually do but it's, it really doesn't surprise me WP because they've done this so many times you remember Arkham Origins was announced like six months before they released the game they had a four month marketing cam uh, campaign with MK11 in 2019 uh, Arkham Knight was originally it was delayed by like a year but originally it was supposed to release six to seven months after it was announced it was announced at E3 and it was supposed to release during the fall and Arkham Asylum and Arkham City both had short released uh, dates after they were announced. What I'm saying is WB just has a history of just releasing the game within like the same year, within a few months after they start marketing it or after they reveal it. So honestly, it was surprising to me to see that Gotham Knights is releasing in 2021 in the first place. If you go back to my reaction uh, video, that's what I said, because it, it feels like if they waited that long to reveal the game, you would definitely think they don't want to reveal it until they, they're about to release it. So it surprised me. I'm like, dang, they're, they're releasing this in 2021. And again, I don't think they would put that this game is releasing in 2021 if they were not confident that they could make that date. This game is coming out this year. And again, they just reconfirmed it a few weeks ago. I can't remember if I made a video on that, but someone uh, asked them if they, if someone had added the uh, W Games help, whatever, uh, Twitter, if this game is still releasing in 2021, and they said no delays have been made. So this game is releasing this year, and July looks like the most likely date. I can definitely see them marketing this soon. I could see them maybe start marketing in March or April, I think is the most likely uh, date for them to start marketing sometime in the next month or the month afterwards. Now, as I said, I believe this game is more likely to come out in July than any other month of the year, simply because of the teases and this new release window and all the articles talking about it. And it just seems like I feel like July is a good month. And it lines up with like what we've heard so far. Like they started marketing this game in August, I guess. Well, they, they revealed it in August, but they haven't really marketed it yet. I think July is the most realistic month. That being said, I don't think we should expect this game to come out in July. As always, high hopes, low expectations. I'm not making this video to tell you guys, oh, this game's coming out in July. Confirmed. Uh, you know, set up the alarms. I think that this game is most likely to come out in July, but high hopes, low expectations. We shouldn't expect it. I think we should expect marketing by July, though. I will say, I think we're definitely, we're going to get a new trailer. We're going to get some new gameplay or something, because it is a little bit surprising considering we haven't got anything new yet. 
we're going to get new content, and if they do delay it until 2022, I think we will know soon, like with Hogwarts Legacy or like with other WB games. They typically like to let us know when they're going to delay a game. They don't wait till the last minute. <clears throat> Cyberpunk uh, is the exception, obviously. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think this game is going to release in July, or do you think it's going to release later? Do you think it's going to release sooner? Let me know your predictions down in the comments below. Of course, I read all of the comments. I heart a good bit of them. I reply to a lot of the early ones if you get here notification squad if you get here soon i like to reply to a lot of uh your comments and of course thank you guys for supporting me sorry for taking a little bit break from my channel i'll uh next time i'll try to make a community post if that happens but i don't even want to make an excuse you know school is is, is just dreadful this year but thank you guys so much for your attention i appreciate it like the video comment any constructive criticism i take it thank you guys for watching stay awesome y'all and peace